Hey everyone, welcome back to the stream. It's been a while. It's been a busy week for me uh, this week. Especially got my COVID shot and everything. It's a pretty pogger week. <laughs> How are you, chat? Nice to see you guys. Apparently, there is no more bots uh, joining the stream, which is good news. Uh, they probably got banned. No more uh, Discord for streamer. Uh, what was uh, the other bot name? Uh, the uh, uh, Colonel something. It was in uh, every uh, every goddamn stream for new uh, Twitch streamers. It was uh, pretty much a, a plague. Pug week, yes. Uh, having a great day today. Thank you for asking. Nice. Thank you again for the, the sub, uh, Holes. I appreciate it. All right, so today on the menu, we're still playing RimWorld on the uh, daily, not daily, but weekly basis on every Sunday streams. We're playing RimWorld with our current uh, Cobalt Company until they basically all die. <laughs> and as in the true RimWorld fashion. Um, so this... Uh, to redeem chat. Uh, if you have uh, points, you can redeem one animal and one colonist uh, per stream. It will be queued so I can actually see uh, the name of uh, your um, the name of your uh, colonist or animal that you want. Uh, um, and uh, don't forget to actually write uh, the name of the colonist and uh, uh, the animal as well. Uh, they actually go for. Uh, 3,000 points for to redeem a colonist and 1,000 points to redeem an animal. Uh, you can use that with your channel points by watching the channel. If you're subscribed to the channel, you're, you have a two times multiplier on the points of the channel. And if you're following, it's a 1.2, I think, per default. Uh, and you gain 300 points uh, when you follow. So, with this, uh, currently working on some art uh, to bug Biscuit with. Hello, Pichu. Welcome to stream. So, good evening, everyone. So, we'll get uh, into Rim World. Uh, let's see. Oh, we just cut this music. There you go. And if I go back to Rim World, it should appear on screen. There you go. All right. So this, uh, just let me put this running back up there. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, yeah, I've played. I actually made a. Uh, <laughs> I played. Meanwhile, uh, I've made a uh, goblin tribe. It's pretty tough actually to to actually make a tribe in Rim World. It's uh, the Halloween crew. All right, I'm uh, actually glad to stream. Uh, Sundays are usually good streams. They're pretty chill. People are there. They're active in chat. And the uh, room world is pretty chill as well. Well, depends when the shit goes down, but <laughs> I like uh, Sunday streams. Making burgers. Oh, man, don't talk about food. I haven't had dinner before the stream. <laughs> I'll definitely will grab dinner right after this. All right, so we have Negi, the faction leader. We have Malik, our brawler. Uh, Freddy, who kind of looks like Piccolo from Dragon Ball because of the chef uh, chef hat. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Flash, which is uh, uh, Lena's redeem. Uh, Flash McQueen, uh, Stein McNutty, who are uh, the bodyguard of uh, the the. The faction and Muffet Nareni. Uh, and we have Biscuit as a Yaski, which is uh, tamed and uh, tied to uh, Stein. So he's pretty much like a hunting Husky. Alright. And uh, we have this new colonist, uh, which uh, we saved last time. Uh, he came from a pod and actually crashed landed nearby. All right. So last time we were uh, building this place. 
this place back up because it was all torn down. Uh, so this place is a uh, throne room for Negi to actually replenish his uh, Psy Focus. I could have used this tree, but it's kind of in the way. I think I'm just going to chop it down. <laughs> and we have Luna as well. Uh, Stansky redeemed uh, Luna as an animal last time. Uh, SPL is uh, pretty sick because of the, I think, the temperature over storage. Right, we were running out of food. I should probably, like, uh, increase the uh, this size. The anima tree has died and emitted a disturbing psychic stream. Oops. This doesn't sound good. Let's hope it won't bite us in the ass <laughs> after this. This kid don't sleep in Buffett's room. It's really in here. Well, seems to like it, but one thing we could do is actually put a furniture with a, uh, let's see, uh, animal sleeping box. Uh, there you go. So Biscuit will actually sleep in uh, Stein's room. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, food, food. So all of this should be prioritized to be harvested because it seems to be... 96% grown. So let's do this. Um, let's see if their work. Uh, who's in charge to actually plant cut? Uh, Espion could do this. He's actually interested in two plant cutting. Uh, does grow plant seed harvest crops? Okay, never mind. It's this one. That's why we didn't have many people actually harvesting stuff. All right. So Nagy is already taking care of it. There's this uh, blood <laughs> bloodbath of uh, of a hunting ground, I think, last time. Uh, we have uh, some medicine around. We could probably harvest this. Potato plants? I thought I actually planted uh, eel roots there. Well, more food, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so everyone's going to harvest food. Nagi gabbed about dinner with Malik. I stopped speaking about food. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I had uh, smoked salmon with rice and uh, it was pretty good <laughs> for, for lunch. When I think about it, I'm starving right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ah, palm. Palm is good. Okay. So, this uh, doesn't expire. Okay. Rat self tame. Oh, we have a rat! <laughs> Apparently. Exotic pet of the Halloween crew, female rat age 1. One year and 33 days, and it's already old. Rats don't live really long, to be honest. What can they do, actually? Just be tamed and eat our food? Well, must not really eat a lot of food, so I'll keep it just so uh, people can actually uh, redeem it. Alright, uh, tattered apparels. Uh, Espion has uh, bad clothes, uh, need batteries. I didn't have batteries for this. Hold on a second. Nope, I didn't. Whoops. I should probably patch this up because this is like a free entrance to my calling. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And with this, I'll probably put batteries inside here as well. So we can keep all uh, the uh, different components and shit in this uh, area here. Can't wait to kill my taste buds. Oh, man. Food. Why is food so good, though? Alright, we have uh, plenty of meals and rice. Yeah, that's rice. Okay. Uh, Luna's uh, food is it. Okay. Ooh. So, we have uh, actually tamed and trained Luna. 
Uh, Stein is the master of Luna, so with this, uh, that means. Uh, hold on, keep forgetting about this every goddamn stream. There you go. With this, Luna should be able to uh, follow Stein in the field that actually. Um... Oh, components. Holy shit. What? Where, where did that come from? I actually missed that. Holy shit. Uh, Flash McQueen will take care of that uh, by hauling the components back to the storage area, as well as the 450 free steel. Right. Is the volume uh, high enough for you guys, by the way? Doesn't have music at the moment, but can you hear the game in general? RimWorld is a pretty quiet game overall. <laughs> Uh, did you also add leftover from the crash pod? Uh, the crash pod was actually in this area, I think. Uh, here. That's where the blood come from. A little quiet. Oh, that might be on your side because I'm uh, almost speaking my microphone. <laughs> but the audio output of uh, the, uh, the game overall is... Uh, Oh, there you go. There's music starting now. Yeah, music is... Uh, maybe I could boost the music a bit. There you go. Alright. Uh, test, test, test. Uh, should be better now. Okay, so we have muffalos. Could be cool to actually tame muffalos. Um, they actually can all uh, pretty li like a huge amount of uh, carry weight, uh, but they're pretty tough to actually tame. Uh, what else is interesting on this map? What's that? Uranium ore. Ooh. <laughs> so we'll make uh, cobalt uh, nuclear warheads. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we've patched uh, this area here, which is cool. Now we only need the wood. Uh, we have 307 with me. Let's actually patch this area here. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have batteries? Um, to the power. No. Okay, so I need to research batteries. Uh, let's see. Battery. This one. Oh, so I researched electricity last time. So now I, I'll get into uh, batteries. So everything here will be actually roofed up. So we could put the batteries here. I'll just make sure. Just gonna check. Uh, build roof area. There you go. There's a roof here. All right. So this because batteries are sensitive to um, to uh, the rain. So if it rains. Or the fire. <laughs> if it rains or if there's a fire, uh, the, they will basically explode. But we kind of want to store this energy here because it's kind of lost. Uh, while we can output uh, 3,900, that's the excess. So <laughs> yeah, should probably make batteries now. Uh, so which I think Nagi was a researcher, right? And Moffat. Uh, uh, research, uh, SPO, but uh, also research. They're taking care of the food at the moment, which is a bigger priority. Uh, but Nagi should not maybe grow stuff and take care of the research. Alright. So, do we have an ability with him? No, we don't. Hold on a sec, I should probably check my quests. I have no active quests. Okay. Eventually, I'll have quests to actually have a um, good amount of uh, different abilities. Psy-focus abilities. There you go. So, Nagi is researching now. 
So we'll see the research bar go up. Okay, we're. It seems like we're okay on the food side. Uh, what is Freddy, Freddy doing right now? Harvesting wild yogurt. All right, that's good. It's always nice to have uh, a good amount of uh, eating items. The thing is that uh, the game basically look at your um, stockpile uh, value. So if the value is uh, actually higher, so it actually accumulates the value of each of uh, the different items. Uh, if it's uh, going higher, the raids are going to be difficult. Well, that's on the, the regular story uh, storyteller. Um, usually they, they actually do that. Rend random is pure random. You cannot like uh, have a linear progression. Oh, the rat is here. Uh, I have no clue what to call it, so I'll be waiting for your redeem uh, if you want. You can uh, name one animal and one colonist per stream of room world, obviously. Nagi is meditating, uh, saying hello to the rat. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Um, what now? Tatter the apparels? Yeah, we should probably, like... Why? Food poisoning major? Eight without table, ready apparels, darkness, unsightly environment, animal screen. Drowsy, greedy for impressive bedroom, serious pain. Man, you're kind of fucked up, dude. Stop throwing out the, on the food, that's kind of disgusting, dude. Alright, 45 meals, that's good, with a lot of stockpile the food. Um, yeah, the temperature is not very good inside here, but uh, should be fine, minus 29 for now. Share view with Muffet about robotics. Uh, Muffet uh, said something about kids' game to Stein. Stein commented about palm tree to Muffet. Very in interesting in... Uh, <laughs> Muffet chatted about using rape here with Freddy. Whoa, what? Alright. So, uh, we had like uh, just basic uh, electricity in every room, right? Yeah. And uh, some regular uh, production tables. Should probably increase uh, the area of our base, actually include uh, somewhere we can actually put uh, production to a certain level. Uh, let's dig this uh, and actually make walls. So we can actually, like a little workshop, could be interesting. We'll use the this wall to actually build up on it. Why is this door so damn slow? Name for the rat, Milo. Alright. This uh, animal. Rat. Thank you for other, for your tier one subscription and funds. I appreciate it for two months in a row. Nice. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've actually made the the box to uh, for uh, biscuit, but the rat took uh, took it. <laughs> so when are you gonna build a mutant spider army? Soon, soon. I actually have the genetic mod, which will basically. Uh, you can modify the uh, uh, the uh, different animals to actually uh, create horrific beings. There you go, Milo. Name for the rat Milo. All right. So that's done. Let me take that off. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Complete all. Yes, uh, there you go. Yeah, the rat claimed the box. I think I, I can assign it to... Uh, yeah, I can set the owner. Uh, well, only Milo apparently can actually take it. That's weird. Why is that? It's an excellent wooden animal sleeping box. 
where are the others? Uh, ah, well, well, because they are in allowed area animals. Hmm. Well, well, uh, okay, never mind this then. <laughs> Everything seems fine. Uh, major break risk. Uh, yeah, this guy is not doing well. Oh, food poisoning recovering, at least. Malnutrition. Yeah, obviously, if you keep throwing up, dude, it's not gonna do uh, good for you. Low expectation red. Yeah, barrel. So we should probably make, like, this a little area here. Actually, uh, put, like, a... Um, Woodworker table or art station. I don't know what they're actually called. Let's see. Furniture. No, it's production. Art bench. Could make an art bench, a end teller bench. Well, electric. And uh, we could uh, move the stone cutter table to actually be closer because they, they can actually have uh, something that actually adds to the bonus. Yeah, it's like a carpenter table, basically, for the art bench. Okay, maybe the music's a bit loud now. <laughs> just lower it just a bit. There you go. So, what are you doing, Malik? Uh, you're getting. You're taking care of this. Well, at least we have a shit ton of food now. Potatoes for days. <laughs> so. Pug potatoes. Alright, what do you mean starvation, Muffet? There's a shit ton of food now. Come on now. Alright, let's fast forward uh, to morning. Alright, we need batteries, uh, so Nagi is still researching. Uh, uh, does this count as in indoor? Yeah, okay, so it doesn't have the outdoor uh, malices. Uh, the file cabinet could technically replace this thing. Let's put it here. Replace this with this. Uh, food binge, Muffet. No, Muffet! Now is not the time to actually binge on the food. <laughs> you need food, Muffet. Please don't do this. Well, it's only one meal. Not too bad. So, uh, Milo's exploring the colony. Who's that? My from the fuck? Where did that come from? Okay, let's see what Stein is doing. Refueling passive cooler. Also, so it uses. Oh, didn't know about this. Didn't know that the passive cooler actually uses wood. It's kind of weird. Potatoes. Pogatoes. He's still researching. Malik is playing horseshoe. Freddy is harvesting the wild eel, eel roots. So we have medicine. SPO is harvesting potatoes. Alright, so everyone's busy with their own thing, except for Muffet, who is eating all our food. All of our food. Well, Muffet's in days right now, so anima screen. Well, Muffet has a good mood. That's oh well. Going back to eat. All right. All right. <laughs> How much can you eat, Muffet? <laughs> That's a question. Pegging out uh, mental state, uh, sure. Food's like 96% at least. Alright, so Flash McQueen is taking care of uh, the new area for the. Um, let me dig this. Uh, not smooth surface. What the hell am I doing? Uh, let's dig this out and actually make a wall out of it so we can actually pass uh, the electric cables in here. Alright, Negi reached level 11 in intellectual. Nice, nice. It's taking a while to actually research this thing, which is kind of weird. 
we don't have wood anymore. Nice. Alright. Uh, so, am I going to have to guard the pantry <laughs> from the hungry muffin? Yes. Could do that, technically. Could send, uh, could send uh, Stein, maybe uh, <laughs> attack Muffet to actually put her in her room by force. But uh, usually it gives like a, a bad uh, bad debuffs uh, to it because it's treated as a prisoner. Right, uh, I need wood. Where can I get wood? Uh, there's a bunch of potatoes uh, hanging out. Uh, let's see if. Uh, uh, hole? No hole. Okay. What's that? Fellow master while is drafted? Yes. What's that? The bond with Luna? Bonded to Freddy? Oh. Okay, sure. We'll do this then. So the colony is eating together. A nice little uh, lunch. I like this one. Uh, maybe I should. Hmm. I know you can use uh, growing zones to actually grow out trees. So we'll have trees nearby. Um, I could do this. Let's see. Uh, we can uh, make. Uh, oh, maybe it was uh, another mod that I had. Oh well, never mind this then. Okay, so a lot of people are actually taking care of uh, the fields. Uh, I don't want them to actually do so. Uh, let's uh, bring Flash to do, some, to do something more useful than this. And uh, Malik. Malik will mine and plant cut. So I, I can actually give the order to chop wood. Right, uh, as research showing. Okay, so far, batteries are only like 400 points of research, I think. Which is not a lot, actually, <laughs> but it's taking a while for some reason. Intellectual level 11. Research speed factor 97%. So we have people cutting down the trees. Oh, that's a waste. We don't have batteries. We could store all this power. Okay, we have uh, slate blocks. We could use this for the uh, um, the floor here instead of using wood, because wood is a, apparently a precious resource in this place. Um, sandstone mosaic. Sure, why not? Uh, out of slates, uh, so it's gonna be 275. We have uh, 167. Okay, I should probably pass the power conduits uh, this place. We can have electric benches uh, to actually work faster. Right. How many people do we have uh, assigned to construction? Espion is uh, taking care of growing stuff. Uh, Alec is taking care of mining or plant cutting. Uh, and uh, Nagy is taking care of research. Uh, uh, Flash, uh, maybe. We should be priority for construction. Yeah, yo, yo. <laughs>
Alright. Everything's doing fine. Sign Muffet spoke about what? <laughs> Share beliefs with Stein about robotics. Uh, one day I want to actually uh, augment with Bionics every one of them. <laughs> Especially Nagi. And Stein because he's the military leader of the colony. Whoa! You know what this means, chat? It's time for raid. Alright, uh, tactical unit. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Oh, there are actually two of them. And there's free food here, apparently. Um, okay, what do you have uh, as a gear? You have a Federation jumpsuit. Oh, okay. Didn't know about the Federation's mad currently at me. Uh, steel hatchet, so they have melee weapons. Yeah. You have the Federation jumpsuit as well. Khalid al Khulafi. <laughs> so, both of you guys don't like each other. No. Yuzuki Winters. Lady Winters. <laughs> um, extremely low expectation. Social intellectual. That's good. Ooh, this guy. This guy has a lot of uh, different interests. And he has good stats in social and intellectual as well. Could make a good uh, chemical fascination. Psychopath? Okay, I don't want a psychopath in my uh, colony. Let me switch side. There you go. So you guys can see this. Alright. So. Uh, oh, the heck. Oh, that's a turtle. <laughs> Tortoise, actually. Um, okay. We don't really have defenses out yet. Like sandbags and everything. But we can manage with the Malik, Stein, and Negi. Let's go, squad. Okay. So they're not really moving. So we could maybe surprise them here. Uh, that's a wild uh, panther. Uh, not a panther, a cougar. Don't want to get attacked by this. Okay, they're not attacking you, so I can technically have the surprise round. So, so I have the stun ability for uh, Negi. Interesting. Okay, so I have uh, two range and one melee and one dog, one attack dog. All right, let's see how it goes. Maybe I should probably quick save this so I can save scum, just in case. <laughs> I love our little cobalt dudes. I'm gonna throw this away. That easy, at least. Okay, Malik, you go at the front. Stein, you go there. I'll actually, try to shoot at them. Be there. You go. Take a shot at them. And he hits! Uh, nice. Uh, Alright. There you go, Yuzuki is going down. Apparently they don't react. So I have a shot at the neck, torso and right shoulder. Nice, nice. She's gonna bleed out in three hours and die. Alright, uh, so maybe we should probably uh, advance. Uh, let's go squad. Palik. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Stay close to Stein. Right. Nice headshot. Nice, nice. One down. And she didn't run away, so she's dead. Alright, raid's over. Oh, they have uh, healing uh, medicines. I'll spray this uh, as well. Malik, can take care of this? <laughs> yeah, Stein's is pretty good. Uh, he actually has, uh, let's see, he has uh, 11 in chewing, which is pretty good. And uh, Malik is our uh, monk with the 15 in melee. Jeez, guys. So now with this, uh, it actually uh, 
uh, pinged me, so I need actually a good defense. So I'll put uh, sandbags probably. Um, defense, security. Uh, sandbags that takes cloth. I don't have cloth. Well, that's not true. I have uh, blue fur. Right. I'll use blue fur. So it's uh, 34 total sandbags. Um, so this is my tortoise now. Where is it? It's at the end of the world now. Sorry. <laughs> blue fur sandbags. Uh, let's uh, put some here. There you go. So I'll have uh, front outposts. Uh. Alright, uh, the research is coming along. Malik is uh, harvesting oak trees. I just want her to actually construct this thing so we'll have a boost in the research. There you go. So we'll have a 5%. Ooh, that's a big bonus. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, SPO, why are you up late this night? Quick sleeper? Okay, that's why. Too smart and greedy. Okay. Um, this structure is all fucked up, really. I kind of want it to be a bit bigger so I can put another simple research bench so SPO can actually research because he actually has a high intellectual. So we can fast forward this research because research is a big part of RimWorld. Let's see if I can deconstruct this. Uh, this, this, uh, and that. Uh, this should be just a, a little like alleyway to actually go back here. Uh, so this is gonna look like. I should probably move the, the door here, actually. And uh, build this. You know. So I'll deconstruct this as well. Alright. So Malik is uh, taking care of the forest. <laughs> Jeez. Should probably harvest the compacted machinery. There's a lot of components around here. That's pretty good. Is that the mad tortoise? Oh no, Malik! What are you going? <laughs> what are you going to do? No, Malik! All right, it's fine. Wake up. Uh, rest is at the sixty-seven percent. All right. Oh, come here, Negi. The mad tortoise. It's coming for you, Malik. What are you doing? <laughs> no. Seems to ignore Malik. Female tortoise age 90... Uh, no, 89 and 3 days. <laughs> the fuck? Didn't even bother. There you go. Stun! Don't move. Come on, Nagi. You can do better than this. You're such a bad shot. <laughs> Yeah, uh, cougar is hunting biscuit. Uh oh, uh oh, biscuit, biscuit, come back! <laughs> no, don't die. Uh, biscuit, biscuit, home, home now, now. That's bad. All right, uh, I'll take uh, Stein because uh, he's actually uh... <laughs> yeah turtle. Try to practice, I guess. Yeah, it's free XP. Go, Biscuit! R run! Run! No! <laughs> no, Biscuit! He's faster than you! Come on, Stein! Hurry up! Hurry up! If you want your dog to live! Hurry up, Stein! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh, holy shit! No! <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, yes! Yes! Biscuit will survive! Fuck yeah! Headshot! Like that, you kitty bitch. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Biscuit. 
Oh, yes, thank you. Woo! Close one. Fucking close one, chat. <laughs> yeah, a bit too close for comfort. Alright, Biscuit, no more uh, sleeping in the wild. Luna's gonna eat the, the cougar. <laughs> Go for it. That's what you get. Alright, Nagi. Uh, where's the man hunter turtle? Let's eat first because your food's at 3%. Alright. Uh, Fistine. Why are you running away from the turtle? Kill it! <laughs> and one shot. The cat uh, left the bag, or at least in the new one, the body bag. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Come on. Hit the turtle! Come on, Stein! Oh my god, that was such a bad shot! <laughs> and it has chronic kidney disease! Come on, Stein, you can, you can do this. Oh, Biscuit's attacking me. Kill the turtle. Come on now. Maybe attack the turtle. Oh shit. That's weird, Stein. How resilient is this turtle? Jesus Christ. Alright. Tortoise beak bruise on the torso. Man, she jumped. She jumped to actually attack his torso. <laughs> well, Kabold is like three feet tall, so I guess. The torso is not that high, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so Flash McQueen is taking care of the workshop. Uh, that's good. Muffet is taking care uh, of Luna for the training of uh, rescue or haul. Alright. Nagy's almost done with the battery research. Uh, who's chopping bits? Uh, it's uh, Freddy actually killing the, uh, <laughs> well, taking care of the Thor toys who attacked us. And the Panther as well, apparently. Well, Turtle makes them nervous. Not really, but uh, if they're not drafted, uh, their default uh, reaction should be to run away. You can actually modify this in the... I don't know which tab it is, um, but usually I, I like them to actually run away from danger. Because otherwise, if they attack, they are like uh, aggressive by default. It's uh, more often too dangerous for them. Okay, this looks like uh, an absolute L. <laughs> All right, we have a good stockpile of food now. That's cool. We have uh, how many potatoes we have? We have 725 raw pot potatoes, uh, 15 rice, 8 berries, uh, and 129 meat. That's good. So we've done the battery research. Uh, so what should we do now? Water mill generator, geothermal power. We have a lot of geothermal vents, actually. Could be interesting. Uh, sterile material. Uh, construct sterile tiles to make clean room for safer and more effective medical treatment. I kind of want to do a uh, an hospital. Uh, so we can actually uh, do surgery for bionics. Uh, shift for click to add to the queue. Uh, this one requires worker join. Hold on a second. Um, gunsmithing sounds good. Modern furniture, plate armor, royal apparel, maid uniform. <laughs> they have a maid uniform mod, apparently. <laughs> uh, solar panel apparel. Oh, this sounds good. Solar panel is good though. I should probably research that. 
All right, so we have batteries. I'm gonna build this uh, first priority now. Power, power, power. Better. Let's build. Uh, I guess four of them. They take uh, two components each. Should be fine. Sustain. Eventually healed. Perfect. Alright, back to work. Oh, taking care of the components that I just harvested. Nice, nice. Good. Alright. Let's fast forward this. It's still 35 Celsius outside. Damn, that's... Uh, very warm. We're still in summer, right? Joggest. Amount of joggest. <laughs> Rim world actually uh, that blends the, the the months together, like two months. So July, August. Not too bad. Okay, I kinda need the defense here though. <laughs> Need more people on construction. Uh, SPM, you, you actually take care of uh, constructing now. And uh, Nagi is still researching stuff. Speaking of which, uh, SPM, I want you to prioritize this. Uh, why did I decide to, to construct this one? Cancel this. Okay, I actually have more room now to actually put another table here. I'll move this one because uh, it's gonna drive uh, drive my uh, OCD pretty bad. <laughs> New lovers, Stein and Malik. You was supposed to be my wife. <laughs> Stein tried to attract Malik by impishly questioning her emotional stability. Malik became aroused <laughs> oh, okay, and agreed to become Stein's lover. Stein and Malik now want to sleep together, considering, uh, consider assigning them a double bed. Oh well. <laughs> uh, Stein uh, and uh, Malik... Uh, we're gonna reorganize this, uh, so this is gonna be uh, Flash, uh, Flash's new uh, bedroom. This will be Stein and Malik. Uh, I'll remove uh, this to, and actually put the double room bed. Construct. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be for Malik uh, just for it tonight. Okay. So we actually have uh, oh plasteel. Oh, that's interesting. We actually have good materials uh, in this map. That's pretty good. This spells out uh, trouble, though. <laughs> this is like an ancient uh, crypt or something like this. You can find uh, other colonists here, but uh, it's guarded usually by either uh, bugs or uh, shit like that. Uh, Malik is uh, stargazing. Okay. Stein is praying to the cobalt god. <laughs> Freddy made a contemptuous remark about Muffet's look. Com contemptuous? Contempt is not a. Uh, it's not good, right? <laughs> All 
All right, so everybody is winding down for the night. Uh, the workshop is taking too long to rebuild. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Means I'm angry. angry. Contempt Jewish. What now? Um, <laughs> the fucking rat is still sleeping in the box. Huh? All right. I guess, uh, I, <laughs> I guess Milo claimed this area then. Right, so they actually started building the sandbags. They only required two, three works left. Could have done that. First priority tomorrow. Uh, they're getting at compacted plasteel. This might actually take too long for you. I want you to actually build uh, the batteries because uh, the constructing power conduit. No, I don't want you to. Oh uh, well, they actually have like like a. Uh, line of power between them so it should be fine okay so malik who's mac talking muffet it's uh freddy was it right <laughs> it was me contemptuous means something like strongly uh complaining about something or disagreeing strongly so debate lording <laughs> so they have chosen that be careful though, uh, Fun's uh, Freddy's the one making food, if you don't want your food being poisoned. Alright, uh, Malik could build this battery. What are you doing, Stein? Digging at the uh, compacted plasteel at this time of the night? Hi. Oh. You're re fully rested. Okay, sure. Plasteel is a good uh, good material to actually make weapons. Good weapons at that. Okay, so the temperature. Uh, you can uh, always see the temperature. I have a temperature mod uh, in the upper right corner, but it's all also there uh, on the right side. So if I point at something, you can see the indoor temperature of the freezer is minus 23 Celsius. <laughs> For those who are not uh, uh, using this system, uh, at 20 Celsius is uh, 80 Fahrenheit. Uh, minus 20 is like... Uh... Good question. <laughs> I don't know how to speak American. I should probably make more of these uh, sleet blocks. Um, it was on the uh, sleet blocks duty. It was uh, Lighting McQueen, I think. Flash McQueen. Not Lighting McQueen. Alright, so we're getting the powers now. If uh, <laughs> Let's get this sleeping at the worst spot ever. I think it. If there's a colonist or anything growing in the region of the windmill, it actually doesn't help, I think. Well, it seems to be the same, so I think colonists and animals are right now. <coughs> but yeah, Plasteel. Plasteel actually takes a while to actually mine. Uh, it has uh, 8,000 resistance. And we are digging at the 40 per tick. That's only 37 Plasteel. It's worth a lot of time, actually, though. Okay. Espion, what are you doing? <sighs> There's, uh... I guess a lot heating other food. Alright. Uh, um... Who's on the holding duty? No one. Um... Muffet? And uh, you're taking care of construction. Okay. Starvation. Who's starving? We have a shit ton of food. You're eating. You're not starving. I'm starving. <laughs> right. Freddy's back to cooking duty because we've reached the threshold of 30 meals. 
what? Muffet sat near Luna and talked to herself about eating habits. Well, we know we binge food now. <laughs> binge all of her food, her precious food. Muffet approached Luna while whispering to herself about children. What the fuck are you talking about, Muffet? <laughs> Alright, this plasteel uh, stuff is uh, taking a while. The biscuit is curious about what Stein is doing. Alright, Muffet, time for you to bring all the potatoes back in town. Potatoes and rice. Want to come with me to talking about weird stuff? Yes. Alright, so this uh, Malik, if you want to sleep with your boyfriend. Uh, how about you actually take care of deconstructing this? Hmm. Alright, so you should have enough wood to actually uh, construct the missing uh, floor planks. Huh? And uh, with this, I'm gonna destroy Malik's bed and Stein's bed. Actually, make a bigger one. Furniture, double steel bed. It's gotta be here. Like Malik, not too fast. To construct this. To construct this. Arta is working on this. Nope. All right, fine. With your stuff, take care of this. And you fell asleep. <laughs> Why? Come on, Malik, wake up. <laughs> Back to sleep. All right. You're, you're still at 35%. Come on. All right, Flash is gonna take care of this. <laughs> Uh, is the bed uh, still having uh, this uh, comfort uh, inactive? Still for suffering, what the fuck? <laughs> this furniture is engraved with the depiction of a town. Uh, the lower part of the image is dominated by a horde of mosquitoes. Still for suffering. So apparently uh, it's engraved with the mosquito. Horde of mosquitoes. <laughs> An image of it, at least. Relaxing socially? No, you're taking care of this. Thank you. There we go. So this is gonna be uh, Malik and Stein's bed. Uh, let's put a end table for you guys. And let's remove uh, this door. And this carpet. Well, let's reinstall this somewhere else. Uh, yeah, this area here. Is the workshop done? Nope. Oh, this is done though. Cool. Do I still have blue fur now? Yep. Okay, Freddy, that's enough uh, three cutting. You can do something else. Uh, uh, Freddy, 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 Freddy. Plant cut. Uh, how about you actually craft the stuff? I know you're kind of bad at it, but. Uh, don't need uh, don't need much right now. Got this one and we don't want it. Just need people to actually uh, make um, a stone at the moment, so I can keep uh, building this. Building steel. Oh, that's the stockpile of steel. Yep. All right, Malik, why are you not sleeping bed? Go in bed. <laughs> so dumb. Last piano is uh, 
be constructing this, but I want you to make uh, the wall as well. Not all in the wood. Arata uh, is uh, working on wooden wall. There you go. Right. So, uh, are you taking care of this, Freddy, now? Food. Uh, Freddy. Uh, Oling is at three. Crafting should be priority now. So yeah, today, guys, I actually applied to um, to Wild Abandon as a team. It's a team on Twitch uh, of uh, furry and the VTuber streamers. I figured, why not? Uh, 100 spots it's been uh, taken uh five minutes only i've posted it in like the first 30 seconds oh pal at least get the reply even if it's negative so i can know what's up all right this looks like shit but i should probably take care of this should the best have chances of to yeah there's a lot of people in this team <laughs> There's like uh, almost 900 people. But I think for to, to actually grow the channel, to actually help uh, build the community as well, I think uh, it's a, a good goal to actually be part of a team, to actually be part of bigger projects like uh, big charities. Kind of want to try a charity once. It's going to be awesome. At least once to see if I like it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun because people are super uh, generous and super uh, helpful for these uh, different uh, topics that I actually like. Uh, the the one that I actually suggested to you, uh, uh, the uh, Wild Abandoned team, is um, anything related to education for, for children. Uh, anything uh, uh, animal welfare related and um, anything that is uh, for people with disabilities uh, stuff like that if I can help one day it will all be worth it in my opinion <laughs> All right, so Nagi is taking care of the uh, side focus that I actually spent earlier with the stun. We have uh, some energy leftovers, which is pretty good. And Flash is uh, still uh, building this uh, now that we have a stun cutter. Uh, Freddy is taking care of this. But now Freddy is uh, winding down with Malik uh, playing Orshu. And almost eating a biscuit uh, <laughs> in the process. Freddy and Malik talked about fighting fiends. Yes, at first I I read friends instead of fiends. I was like, oh geez, Freddy, chill. <laughs> Hello, Kuhi. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Cobalt Colony. So uh, I think this is the first night that Malik and uh, hold on a second. Oh, th that's sad. <laughs> Stein will never sleep with Malik because Stein wakes up when Malik goes to bed because she's a night owl. Oops. Poor little guy. Alright. I love Nagi's room. It's actually pretty good. Malik, you can stop cutting trees down. I thought I actually put the plan cut. Uh, so can uh, Malik? Uh, here, there you go. Stop cutting down trees. <laughs> we need trees later on. Uh, so now you're going to mine, but I don't want you to mine. I want you to build stuff. There you go. 
we can finish this. Okay. After we have uh, the um, the production facility, I want to make uh, weapons, and guns, and uh, arm everyone. And actually, so they can actually have uh, armors. Uh, they can have weapons and such. Wait a second. Okay, that's steel. I thought it was plasteel. My base was like, well, why did you guys go out then? Um, and yeah, so I can set up a defensive uh, position. Um, I'll probably do like a little retreat uh, with uh, like a, um, a bunch of, uh, what are they called again? Embrasure. So you can shoot through it, but they you cannot... Uh, you cannot uh, like uh, go through it. All right, so Espion's already already up because he's a fast sleeper, so that's good. So we'll uh, probably have the uh, little uh, production facility um, early in the morning. Let's uh, mine this down so we can have uh, straight access to it. One thing that is great now about streaming is that uh, I actually have my AC in my room, so I won't be like uh, dying from uh, <laughs> from uh, the heat uh, with like 32 Celsius in my room. Uh, that's a good thing because I was melting down in most of the end of the streams, but now it's like I'm freezing my ass off. My fingers are cold. That's how I like it. <laughs> I still have to patch this up. <laughs> One day I'll get uh, raided and they'll actually get through eager, which is bad. Um, we have marble. That's marble, right? Yeah, okay. So this is a digital paving marble floor. Uh, let's see, more floors. Uh, digital paving marble. There you go. So I can actually put marble here. Because it's ugly as all heck. And here as well. Alright, good. Good progress so far. So, I want to actually add... I should probably move this. It's way too small. They will get, like, uh, bad moods just because this room is ugly as all heck. Espion's taking care of the flooring. Is building the rest. Yeah, a lot more comfortable than before. And uh, I should probably do a VR stream soon, since I I can now freeze my ass off. <laughs> so it, my uh, GPU doesn't like uh, chug and actually dies uh, because of the heat in my room. Um, I was thinking maybe I, I, I've been eyeing, uh, what's it called? The H3? It's like a horseshoe and gun and, and hand grenade, something like that. Horseshoe and gun and hand grenade. Apparently it's a very fun, uh, first person VR shooter. <laughs> Yeah, a lot more warmer than usual because um, <laughs> the uh, usually in VR while you move, so it's already warm. Uh, the headset works at 144 hertz, so uh, the you have basically like a panel that is baking your face off, uh, <laughs> and uh, with this. Uh, the uh, my GPU is running like a uh, turbo engine, and uh, in a closed room. So yeah, I close my door just not to bother my uh, my roommate uh, while I'm streaming. I'm usually the silent type of a roommate, so I don't want it, I want it to be annoying. 
but the for the past last streams I actually uh, had my my door open that's very dirty jeez uh, SPO, I know you're taking care of constructing stuff, but you can also clean while well, you are already assigned to clean. Alright, never mind then. Yep, that's what you're doing. Alright. Keep up the good work. Fingers are cold, stomach is empty, colony of boards, it must be glitchy. Yes. <laughs> that's fucking good. Right, uh, come on, Flash McQueen, if you're that fast. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we should probably install. Um, we have power here, right? Yep. Right, we should probably install uh, the first. Uh, uh, what's it called? It's uh, in furniture, I think. Yeah, wall lights. Wall lights, wall lights. Uh, one in the middle. Uh, two space. There. Hello, Lena. You're watching my stream from uh, your. I don't know where you went, but uh... all right, you you were grabbing food. Then. Right. Flash McQueen is taking care of the. Uh... You're back home. Okay. Cool. Flash McQueen is taking care of constructing uh, the uh, workshop. So, with this I can finally put uh, production. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, moving this first. Uh, reinstall uh, here. Or should I put it this side and put the... Um, like, in front of each other, I think. Yeah, let's do it like that. <clears throat> so I can put the two cabinets so they actually can have all the bonuses. Um, maybe one more. <clears throat> yep. So right in the middle of the room, right? I'll put the tool cabinet right in the middle. Right. Uh, with this, I'll add um, hmm, electric teller bench and a steel art bench because I have enough steel, I guess. Do I? Actually, <laughs> I'm saying this, but I don't know how many steel there. Uh, where's my steel? Have I run, run out of steel? Really? Really now? Hold on a second. I have five, apparently. Ah, there it is. Really? I have five steel. Just that. Time to mine. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, dig this out so I can actually increase the size of my colony. Uh, I think uh, the blue fur. No, it only because the uh, the sandbags by default uses um, steel. I think because I have a mod, it actually uses uh, a different material. So uh, cloth in this instance. I'm watching you on the big screen, do you know? <laughs> Alright, the SPM is taking care of the steel and gluteal vision. Alright, so Selena is taking care of this. Research finish solar panel. Nice. Okay, Malik is taking care of this. Nice. That's good, uh, Hydra. Stein Feng in attention to Marzelina. What are you training her for? Rescue. Nice. That's cool. Uh, Freddy. 
Not that, uh... <laughs> Let's go with Stein instead. There you go. So Stein can have bodyguards when he actually goes hunting. Globo homo? <laughs> Globo homo? Okay, so Espion's gonna be known as uh, Globo homo now. We uh, still uh, didn't name this guy. So it's gonna be the fox guy. The fox or wolf guy. Let's go. Alright, so it's gonna be known as Globo Homo. <laughs> what a fucking name. So you are the only non kobold in the kobold colony. <laughs> And you're like basically our our maid. I should probably research maid outfits and actually put uh, this on Global Homo. <laughs> Alex wanted a dog named Peach. Ooh. Okay. Uh, these animals are actually already named. Uh, we we had a uh, while you were gone. Uh, we had the rat that joined the colony called the uh, Milo. It was redeemed as well. Uh, so next animal we're, we're gonna call it. Uh, Peach. Oh, that's. Welcome, you guys, to the stream. Welcome to the Cobalt Colony. Where we have uh, big dogs as a guard and uh, a made uh, global homo uh, fox uh, guy. <laughs> I still haven't patched this up. <laughs> It will probably bite me in the ass if I don't. <laughs> right, let's do it then. Uh, Flash reach level 6 in crafting. Nice. Alright, so now you yeah, actually have a good workshop. So this is a mediocre, well, somewhat impressive. 69 points. Uh, mediocre world, uh, quite spacious in terms of space. Quite virtual beauty on the, uh, the beauty level and the cleanliness is slightly dirty because well people are going out in and in inside this thing uh tool cabinet is 200 i think uh, yeah it's 200 steel i don't have that at the moment if you guys could harvest the steel i would highly appreciate it <laughs> new research project right all right what do we research now? Uh, let's see. We have batteries, we have solar panel, air conditioning, and well, enrichment. But that's new. Never seen that. Uh, colored light, no. Nah. Eclipse. Well, solar panel won't, won't be useful with an eclipse, so. I'm not gonna build them already. Biscuit, what the heck are you doing? Can you please all of this different stuff? Biscuit, can you all this stuff? You're trained for this. Instead of wandering around. Do I have to do anything to actually... Uh... No, you can. The animal will randomly all item from time to time, though it can't be directed to all specific items. Right. I've never seen you carry anything yet. <laughs> Alright, so batteries are full. That's good. Could potentially add more to it. Das, thank you for the 10 bits. For you, bunny. One second, I'm gonna check something for the redeems. Uh, Global Homo has been marked as complete. And Alex wants dumb a dog named Peach. Next animal I'm gonna get is gonna be called Peach. Potentially up. Oh. Stein in Malik is uh, loving. Activity loving. I'm not gonna. This is T West. Okay, now he's going to bed. Malik, you're supposed to work during the night. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so let's hold this back. Yeah. 
Uh, with the workshop, uh, let's see, I have a 54 steel, that's not enough for what I want to do. Oh, the steel, uh, hold on a sec. I made something out of steel earlier. What was it again? That might be where my steel went, actually. Ah, uh, it was a bed. Yeah, this bed. This bed was actually taking a lot of materials. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, put more people on uh, mining at the moment because I'm running out of uh, of materials. Uh, craft, no. Mining, Malik should be mining, Stein should be mining. How's the farm so far? Uh, 39%, 62%. So, I don't need anyone to farm yet. Okay, maybe you could be more useful than uh, all global homo. <laughs> Where's that from? Or is it like what I think it is? Somehow I forgot that's your name. <laughs> It's nice to clean and stuff, but uh, you should probably do something more useful now. Uh, like constructing research should be good. Now that we have two research bench. Could put the research bench up there, actually, with, um, with the, uh, the filing cabinet between them. Uh, let's see. Reinstall here. Oh, not enough space. Crap. Could maybe rotate it. Uh, one of each side. The filing cabinet could be in the middle as well. Sure, why not? Okay, so more space to work. Reinstall here. Didn't receive any notification for this. Thank you, Lena, for uh, continuing your gift sub uh, that you got from uh, funds. Or is there no notifications? That's weird. Can I replay it? It's not even the mini feed. That's weird. <laughs> uh, so, found cabinets is going down. Okay, area revealed, oh, the, hold on a sec, okay, phew. usually when it says uh, area revealed, it means that there's like caverns or like uh, bugs maybe inside, it's not always good when it says that. Right. Global almost taken care of, uh, I'm just gonna call it global instead. There you go. So it's actually uh, linking uh, the wooden file cabinet. Can I? Uh, I could have rotated it. Oh. oh well. That's life. Right. Flash is taking care of business here. She's crazy. You mine so fast. <laughs> Like outpacing stun by, by like three, uh, three, uh, three tiles per per tiles that he actually harvest. Hiding in his room, he decided because of poor mood. The final straw was a serious pain. Are you in pain? Hold on a second. Food poisoning major again. Man, you gotta stop being this sick. <laughs> Jeez, guys, he's uh, throwing out, uh, vomiting his life out. <laughs> Thing. All right, I'm sure. We'll leave it. We'll leave it be. All right, we're almost done here. Uh, how many steel do we have? Only 92. There wasn't 
A lot of it. Is this a cave? Kind of curious, but also a bit nervous to actually open this up. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna save and see if uh, this is dangerous. I might regret this later. <laughs> Come on, Flash, dig this out. Okay, it's just a little extra tunnel, I guess. Well, he's having been food poisoning because I don't know why he, he keeps eating like certain stuff and he always uh, like becomes sick afterwards. But my kobolds are fine. See? <laughs> they don't vomit their life out. I should probably put a floor though because it's like on uh, on soil at the moment. <laughs> Um, okay, sure. I'm gonna build a floor here. Wooden floor. It's so dirty, though. The kitchen is very dirty. Maybe the, the rug mud uh, kind of needs to be... Oh, jeez, he's being sick again. What? Can we pet? Yeah, I I could. Uh, that's the uh, uh, put the uh, this emote with the the animation. I I'll, I'll do that uh, right after the stream. Why not? Mafeta sat near Luna and talked to herself about playing dice. Sure. <laughs> I'll stop doing in here. So there you go, we have a wooden floor now. I guess that's a bit less dirty than just straight up soil. He's sick again. At the same spot. Right in the entranceway. <laughs> so you, you can make sure to actually step in it uh, when you actually leave the room. It's gotta be a, like a day old vomit too. Mm. Tatter that battles. Right, right. I forgot I actually did the workshop for this specific. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> How can they access this? I'm so dumb. Alright, uh, let's see. <laughs> can I just rotate it? No, it's not gonna be hard. Alright, let's put it the other way around then. Apparently a roof collapsed somewhere. Did it? Who's mining right now? The one apparently. What are you guys doing? Why are you at the... All in medicine? All in steel hatchet, so you're taking care of the, the bodies that are like five days old now. Why is so late? <laughs> Need a research product. Right, I forgot to... Uh, getting distracted. <laughs> uh, hmm. Could go into genetic engineering, but machining is actually pretty good because uh, you can craft guns and grenades. Gonna go into machining, but first smithing. So I can uh, smell down the uh, different uh, s uh, sh chunks that uh, I actually gathered. Okay, more steel, that's good. I have a lot of components, which is kind of rare when you play RimWorld. <laughs> Usually it's the opposite, you have too much steel and uh, just a few components. It's 40 Celsius outside, wow, jeez. 37 Celsius in your room, that's fine. Only with passive cooling too, nice. Alright, don't be sick now, don't be sick. Don't be sick. Alright, seems fine now. He's so slow because of food poisoning. Any Gemba? Redeemed colonists called Dogecoin. Alright, next one's gonna be Dogecoin. 
I don't have any other colonists at the moment, but uh, probably soon. Usually if you put uh, like beds for guests and stuff like that, uh, the game starts like giving you out uh, colonists and stuff. Any Gamba? Could make a Gamba on... Uh, what could I make a Gamba of? Maybe if there's a raid, see uh, if I I will take damage or not, stuff like that. I'll see. If you have any ideas for any gambas, uh, I'm open. Alright, Flash is uh, cleaning up a bit, uh, as well as Muffet. Alright, so this is now... Okay, it still benefits from uh, the uh, the foul, foul uh, cabinet uh, bonuses. Okay, so now I'm gonna make uh, new clothes for uh, Global Homo because he's uh, having tattered apparels for a while. It's super, um, it's super uh, warm outside, even at the month of uh, August, <laughs> July, August. Um, let's see. A duster is uh, not very good looking. Um, insulation from heat. How much the separate improves the wear maximum comfortable temperature? 15.3. Okay. So, yeah, I still have clothes though. I know I spent a lot on the, the uh, sandbag. Too. Okay. I have uh, plain leather and blue fur. So I'll make. Um, Duster out of blue fur, I guess. And oh, hold on a sec. Clear hall. Leather is going to be blue fur. Ah, it shows now the uh, the amount that you have. Oh, that's cool. That's very helpful, actually. Um. Okay, I'm going to make the duster for this. Our jacket. Thermal wrapping, fine shirt, military fatigue, dessert robe. Dessert robe could be useful. Cargo shorts. Alright. Gonna make a duster, at least for him. And uh, I'll make uh, shorts as well. Uh, where are they? Pants. There you go. Let's do it uh, like this. So Flash is probably yeah, is taking care of uh, crafting this. Okay. So 164 work required for this. <laughs> I love how the, the rat is uh, sleeping in the box now. <laughs> Let's see if I can make a um, uh, furniture. It's gonna be a... Like a little animal bed. There you go. <clears throat> Panther offer. Not enough stored. How much do I have? 39 now. Are, are you for real? That sucks. Alright. Plain leather it is, I guess. Bulk good trader. Nice. There you go. At the. Uh, right at the end of the, the bed. So they'll sleep at your feet. Alright, we have uh, bird people, I think. No, no, that's uh, elf. That's uh, drows, actually. Oh, they have a dog. I could probably buy the dog if I want. So I could name her Peach. Next colonist to mental break will be... Uh, yeah, it could be... Uh, well, it's obvious that it's gonna be global homo. It's been like three times. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I could do stuff like this. This is all steel? Oh, that's kind of fire though. Alright. Minor break risk. Yeah. How many silver do I have? 500? Could probably sell a lot of plasteel actually because it sells for a lot. Uh, I'll put a... Um, what's it called? The structure? No, that's zone. Uh, crafting spot, butcher spot. 
Where is it? Uh, trading spot. Uh, where is it? Uh, don't see it. Could probably make storage. Like, uh... oh, there you go. Pens are done. <coughs> don't want them to actually enter. <laughs> it's annoying to have this much people. This many people inside. Uh, I don't see it. Where is the trade? I think uh, it's a mod that I actually disabled because it was broken. It might be it. Right, Nagi, you're taking care of negotiation because you have higher social stats. 16, wow. Probably one of my best stats out there. Okay, so we have uh, a dog named Peach and a colonist called Dogecoin. <laughs> uh, so I can buy... There's no, there's no, uh, no one that I can buy. Um, I'll buy this uh, Labrador Retriever for two hundred and sixty-six ducks. Nice. Uh, <laughs> another dog. Okay, I sell stuff now. Uh, I don't have enough Pantera fur to do anything with it, so I'm gonna sell it. Uh, guinea pig fur, I don't need this. Okay, what else? Is there anything interesting here? Fox fur, winter boots, it's a bit too warm to actually have uh, winter stuff. Silver or snow's ring. Never seen this, don't know what that is. Uh, headgear for... Headgear for, um... Bitcoin's, uh, characters. Okay. Uh, cougar meat. Hold on, that's a negative number cells. Okay. Clot. Hundred and six. One of six. If I can tell by it. There you go. Android leather. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Wood. Wood is good. Alright. We have a new doge. Okay, so we're gonna call this one Peach. Uh, training uh, Peach. It's gonna be a Labrador though. There you go. So, there you go. Alright. So we have Biscuit and we have Peach. Let me save. Just make sure we don't lose Peach. And let me... Oh, there you go. Mark is complete. Your redeem. There you go. Minor break risk. Uh, starvation. Muffet, why do you... What? Why are you at 0% food? Malnutrition trivial. Uh, because you're. Uh, that makes so much sense now. Muffet is a gourmet. Well, that's why she's always eating. Overcome with the urge to eat ravenously even when not hungry. That's a big move, Muffet. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is going to be Luna and the Biscuit's bed. I think I'm going to poison them. Might be why. <laughs> All right. It looks like Freddy's running after Malik for some reason. All right. What are you doing, Malik? Calling Claude to stockpile one. That's good. All right. Now that we have cloth, should probably make a rug, actually. Binge eating disorder, not fun in a bit of role in the States. Yeah, I guess. Uh, it's a pretty sensitive topic. 
but the gourmand is uh, different. <laughs> it's more uh, the positive, uh, well, kind of. It's basically someone that loves to eat. Life revolves around food. She gets hungry quickly and will occasionally be overcome with the urge to eat ruinously, even when not like. But it's true, food is life. Jesus Christ. Don't you guys like to actually make like a good freaking dish? Like homemade dish. And you're like, I made this and it tastes fucking awesome. <laughs> fucking love that. Well, that that's one thing. When I actually went and live like uh, in an apartment by my own, at uh, 16 years old, <laughs> I uh, didn't really care about what I was actually eating. And um, well, yeah, when you're young, you don't see the appeal, and uh, because of like all the dishes that it makes, it's like a pain in the ass. But once I actually rented the an apartment with a dishwasher and I can never go back to actually washing the dishes now. It saves so much time. And then like it it actually made me uh like realize that I actually like cooking the dishes that I don't like to do after. So I'm now taking the time for it and I dishwasher is life as well. Alright, Stein, you haven't, like, hunted for a while, let's do this. Alright, anything on the map? Uh, not many animals, actually, holy shit. A guinea pig? Guinea pig, uh, why is there so many guinea pigs out there? There you go, turkey. Let's hunt a turkey, shall we? Why is there so many guinea pigs out there? <laughs> uh oh, they're kind of cute, though. Oh. Around and guinea pigs. Oh. More guinea pigs. Could be bunnies instead of guinea pigs. Hey, squirrel. No, oh, motherfucker. Alright, this sign is coming now. Hunting turkey, yeah. Uh, build complete, make duster. The logo can actually wear uh, something interesting now. It's gonna run for it. Easy. Are you gonna run for it? Where where is it? Did someone actually yeah, Flash put it on. Well <laughs> Hey, you actually got it from that far away. Nice. That's a big catch. Oh Mofalos. Mofalos could be interesting to actually hunt. Gazelles. Okay, and uh, let's hunt them down. Um. Okay. Flash. I'm sorry. I know you've made the duster, but I'm gonna drop it. It wasn't meant for you. There you go. I know you like it. But, uh, this is a global almost uh, duster. There you go. So, don't have tattered apples now, right? That's not enough for you. All right. Where are these pants then? Okay, is it better now? Still not. Uh, that's because of the torso. Okay, I'm gonna make you a T-shirt then. Uh, T-shirt. Where is it? Uh, chef's hat. Uh, parka pants. T-shirt. Stein uh, has a really good mood right now. 
attended party, opinion of my lover Malik. Oh. Burning passion for my work, low expectation. Damn. That's a very uh, happy boy. Ancient danger. I'm sorry, what? Malik, what the fuck are you doing? Hunting Gazelle, okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's danger here for sure now. <laughs> I thought for a second she was digging out, digging out at the wall. It's like, no! That could have been bad. Malik, why are you hunting? I just realized. Why are you hunting with a knife? <laughs> I have better stuff to do, actually. Uh, let's remove this from your priority. Um, don't have anything here, right? She she's not busy with anything. Uh, harvesting potato plants, yeah, do that, please. <clears throat> All right, we have a little little uh, workshop. Uh, bad temperature, thirty-seven Celsius. Yeah, uh, it's a bit warm. Eh? All right, uh, let's make a uh, passive cooler, I guess. Two passive coolers. It's gonna cost us uh, only wood. So it's not too bad. <clears throat> hey, got a gazelle. Gazelles, good. So both of these are researching uh, smithing right now. It's so warm in here though. Alec is gonna make it better though. It's gonna uh, drop in yep, 34 Celsius. I'm in the way. I don't think you can see temperature in here. Uh, you can. Okay. okay. So energy wise, we're fine. Food wise. Ah, oh, peach. I forgot to actually put uh, peach and biscuit in the animal pen. Animal zone. <coughs> okay. So, what's the next project? Uh, we have uh, this now. It's a mediocre, neutral. Dirty though. Yeah, I should probably make. Oh, right. I forgot that I actually bought the uh, the cloth to actually make a, a rug. That's what I was doing. Torment. A barber's table. Table equipped with various tools suited to restyling hair and beard. Sure, but Cobalt doesn't have hair. <laughs> oh, there it is. It was a misc. Party spot, hibernation spot. Training spot, there it is. Alright. Uh, trading should be done uh, here. Party spot uh, should be the kitchen. No. It's fine. Operating table. A crew table crowded with instrument that supposedly makes surgery easier. The cleanliness of the table is questionable, questionable though. It's not to be improved medical outcome with over normal beds. Okay. How's it going for the hunt? Uh, three gazelles left. There you go. It's getting uh it's getting better at uh, shooting. <laughs> Alright. So what I want next is uh, a uh, maybe a blacksmith or something like this somewhere. Well, maybe the I could increase the size of this, but I have a, like a free spot now here. Uh, can I remove the roof from this area? There's no roof here, but it seems to be covered in some ways. Uh, okay, fine then. Um, I have one hundred and fifty-two. So 
structure, walls, uh, slate. <clears throat> Could make more defense. Could I create like a blacksmith area. And uh, this could be filled with traps, probably. So there's like a kill box, what they uh, they actually called it. So you have like a free entryway for uh, people to actually um, walk through during raids you set traps everywhere here so it's like the longer way around it and after this uh you just put like different doors here because usually the ai the where the way it works is that um the the doors are, are actually like uh, more resistant than the walls or because they're locked well it's an ai thing uh, and they actually try to breach the the wall or the free path first, obviously. So it's a way to cheese the AI, which is, well, kind of dull a bit. It actually removes, like, the, the immersion of the game. And you can set up traps and rearm them after. <laughs> okay, one thing I wanted to do, I'll save the game. Gonna go in the options and choose uh, Storyteller settings. We're at the Phoebe Chillax, which is uh, the uh, like pretty smooth uh, like gameplay. Not m much actually happens. And it's adventure story, so it's not too bad. So I'm gonna put it to Cassandra Classic to Adventure Story. Maybe I'll increase the difficulty to strive to survive. But now we actually follow a linear path of uh, like progression. So now we're gonna get raided, but also we're gonna get more people. Hmm. So now that we have the base and everything seems to be kind of stable at least. Uh, let's uh, increase the uh, difficulty a bit. Uh, yeah, it's not a good thing <laughs> in RimWorld. Especially when you play on the Reindeer Random at the IS difficulty and uh, he actually shits out like 40 people raiding you with uh, like laser guns and shit like that. <laughs> it happens. And even if you start your colony, he's like, well, fuck it, you're gonna die. Because I decided it. <laughs> but Brandy Random actually makes uh, some interesting decisions. Sometimes he actually drops, like, hey, Doomsday Launcher, which is like a, a rocket that actually. It's like the, the Fatman. Uh, Fatman? Is it called a Fatman Fallout where you have the. Uh, now, Fatman is the nuke, actually. So it's uh, so something like that, which is... Uh, it's a nuke launcher, basically. A portable nuke launcher. Laser guns. Laser tag it. <laughs> Raid. Uh, there it is. Actually sleep at the, the end of the, the bed. That's good. Okay, we have boomalopes and mega slots. Gonna be done with smithing now. Alright. So, finish research uh, smithing. Let's go with production the steel art bench. Go frenzy, go ball. Thanks to Aimu, Global Ammo has experienced an inspiration. You will move faster for the next eight days. Nice. That's very useful. Uh, okay. Butcher table. Fuel smithy, electric smithy. Right. So if I remove this, I'm gonna just gonna truck uh, this thing. 
quest active ship to the star. That's the uh, end end uh, end game uh, quest. So it gives you passage uh, off world, but you have to reach the landed ship, uh, which is at uh, the other end of the planet. I'm currently here, so it's literally the furthest point it could have been. Fuck yes. <laughs> Man, this is far. Right. Or you could build uh, your own ship. It's uh, usually a bit uh, more feasible than traveling all this distance. I should probably do a nomad run someday. But apparently it's uh, very challenging though. <laughs> Stein tried to train Peach. Okay, so Stein is taking care of this. He's gonna hunt the last gazelle, uh, the last two gazelles at least. Flash is still at work. Good. So the smithy will be done soon. Oh, it will have power. Uh, what type of uh, material do I have right now? I don't have much wood, but I should probably make a wood floor just to average it out with the, the black walls. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, floor, floor, floor. Let's go with this one. Fire conduit, slate wall. Okay. Hey, Stein got another one. And we we have a bunch of food compared to the, the start of the stream. <laughs> it's way different. We had like five meals at the start of the stream and nothing at all after this. That's uh, way better. Okay, the next step after the smithy and everything that we have here, it's gonna be to maybe expand it here a bit next to the the farm, so we can actually wall it off. And uh, oh, bunny! Hey, bunny! It's there actually, but <laughs> you know what I mean. All bunnies are equal. Okay. So once this is done, I'm gonna put the smeltery down and we could uh, start crafting weapons, finally. The overall mood of uh, the, uh, the colony seems to be fine, seems to be doing awesome. Which is a very good thing for once. Uh, so we've reached like the like the uh, good level of uh, of the colony to actually grow and expand now, since everything's going well. So I'm gonna build eventually a uh, dormitory for guests, so I can make silver out of it, and uh, we'll probably receive more colonists in the process because it's going to be guest beds so there's going to be more visitors and stuff like this it's a good thing that i actually put the door here because they can actually get the stone from very close to the stone cutting table which is a good thing Let's start uh, putting uh, some uh, some of the lights in here. Good.
and even eventually I want to actually create a uh, like a, maybe I'll expand it here to actually uh, put an hospital here so we'll have uh, surgery beds and uh, who's the I think Muffet was the uh, medical 10 yeah um, so we can actually do surgeries augment our kobolds with the bionic eyes bionic arms shit like this Maybe Malik, I'll replace uh, Malik's end with uh, sights instead. <laughs> In a, like a true uh, cyberpunk fashion. With the, uh, what's it called? The, um, Mentis Blade. Got the word uh, at the tip of my tongue. Mentis Blade and uh, cyberpunk are pretty cool. Why do you still have- oh, Nagi has tattered that barrel apparently. Which one? The shirt? Alright, new shirt it is. I can't do So dirty in here. The doormat isn't doing much. <laughs> So, what do you have planned for tonight, chat? Uh, or uh, the last day of the weekend? Anything uh, in your mind? Make t shirt? Wow, that was quick. Uh, can you drop it here? And uh, Nagi will uh, forswear. There you go. Alright. Cleanse up the uh, prioritize out. Oh, okay, biscuit. Don't go outside getting eaten by a panther now. <laughs> Was it panther or cougar? I can't remember. Alright, exchange a thought with Stein about immortality. Through sky mind and sky cloud cores. That's a very technical uh, flash. <laughs> and Stein doesn't have intellectual stats, uh, it's disabled. Don't talk about uh, these brainy things around Stein's. Told a joke about favorite clothes to Malik. Yes, very, very funny clothes. <laughs> Sewing area. Disease malaria. Oh, oh no, global. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, Gamba time. Ah, uh, Gamba, Gamba. Uh, Is uh, Globo Omo going to survive? Malaria. Outcome. Yes. Outcome. No. So you have uh, two minutes. Show. Production started. <clears throat> Don't worry, chat. I won't be killing him uh, purposefully. <laughs> Animal starvation. Who's starving? Biscuit is starving. Fine. I have enough food now, so unrestricted. There you go. So, is the global homo going to survive malaria? Yes, no toaster. Alright. Can see the outcome here and go. Alright. Alright, uh, so who's taking care of Muffet is, right? 
Can you? Yeah, I'll let the <laughs> rip. Oh, there you go. Malik is taking care of it. The thing is, the, the way it works in the Rim World, for those who don't know, um, so you have the Malaria Miner, it has a certain percentage, and it basically races with uh, immunity, so you have to treat every certain time, so in this uh, occurrence it's uh, 15 hours, so in 15 hours we have to actually put another bandages, depending on the percentage of the bandage, that actually increase immunity faster or slower than the um, disease in itself. So basically, it's a race between immunity or uh, disease uh, growth. And so we'll, we'll see about that. <clears throat> so right now it's uh, ten, intended for a few hours. And uh, the 10 quality was 80%, which is good. But we'll see for the uh, later period. It might be uh, 0%. But usually... Um, these actually increase the percentage by medical 10 the quality maximum 100 but they can so basically it's between 0 and 100 and uh, this other one the herbal one is uh, 60 i think uh medical potency 60 percent yeah and medical 10 quality to 70. Hello, Mint. Welcome to stream. So we grew out to the colony ever since, uh, since last time. Everyone's sleeping at the moment, uh, except for Malik, uh, our usual night owl, currently tending to the rice in the field. Ninety-eight percent grow. Hmm. 98% grow. Uh, plant cut uh, grow. So global homo is currently sick. Uh, Malik uh, should have other stuff to do. There you go. Flash, uh, you're done with the this area soon, right? Animal starvation biscuit. Can hmm. train Luna. Animal sleeping. Right. Who's the game now? Where is it coming from? Who's digging? Ah, okay. It was Malik working on the, the stones. Okay. Uh, Malik, you should probably cut down trees because I don't have enough wood anymore, right? I think that's it. Uh, yep. Uh, chop wood. It's kind of far, though, from the stockpile. Uh, can I cut down these? Yes. Just uh, finished the gift art for Biscuit inspired by a game of Jackbox we played. When was it? I haven't seen the Biscuit uh, online for a while. I think I, I'm missing uh, his streams or I'm just like not awake at the time he's streaming. <laughs> Muffet uh, came near Peach while ta uh, talking to herself about life regrets. Poor thing. She's trying to... <laughs> She's like, no, I don't want to help. Uh, just want food. Muffet approached Peach while whispering to herself about the link between humanity and the pointlessness of life. <laughs> oh, Muffet. <clears throat> Poor Peach. She, she's like, I'm just a dog, man. Why are you talking about like all these ex existential stuff? <laughs> Little Omo gabbed about drunkenness with Muffet. Sounds like good time. The fuck is this? <laughs> Freddy, why do you like like why do you look like a goblin? Like the tribal wear or 
whatever this thing is. Centred tribal wear. Okay, sure, buddy. Pop looking thing. <laughs> no. Are you still starving? Uh, malnutrition miner? You have access to food now. Come on, Biscuit, you can reach the... The freezer. Ah, there it is. Eat the potatoes. All in rice. To stock about you. Oh. It's actually helping now. Oh, wait a second. That's why I'm so fucking dumb. Okay, I just realized why. <laughs> they they were not holding the the stuff to the stockpiles because they didn't have access to because I actually restricted the area because animals don't actually go there. Fuck, I should have known that. Now they are helping, yay! They could have all the the steel and uh, the stone as well, but yeah, you know, uh, maybe because it's full. Uh, kind of, yeah. There you go, Biscuit, you're helpful now. Alright, I need uh, someone to actually finish this harvesting rice plant. I don't know. Just need one person to actually take care of this. Stein, you are a farmer as well, so I guess if you don't hunt, you grow stuff, right? You are a farmer, but you don't have grow as a skill. That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, who, who should I? Freddy, Flash, Flash. You should uh, not take care of this. Construct stuff on mine, please. You're way too useful to actually uh, do this kind of stuff. Uh, plant cut, though, should be. Uh, yep. Harvesting old trees. Alright. Connest need uh, treatment. Let's see. Malaria is at 11%, uh, TMT is at 19%. A farm kills, not plan. Yes. I'm Malaria Miner, okay. Tending expires in two hours, all right. So Stein is uh, training Luna to all of the different things. So far we didn't have like a lot of um, raids. Would like to see like a bigger raid. I'm gonna jinx myself saying this so badly. <laughs> Um, electric stone cutter table. Ooh, this sounds good. 150 woods. Ooh. Uh, where is it? Uh, electric smithy. Fuel the smelter. Electric smelter. There it is. Steel's like a chunk, uh, steel and component. The table with the equipment for assembling the makeshift equipment. Well, that could be cool. Make like a scav armor. Nagy is still researching uh, machining this time. Uh, so, weapon locker. Nice. Upgrade kit. Uh, search component. Machining table. Hold on a sec. Uh, can I right click this now? Okay. Uh, I need steel. And uh, this just needs some work. Uh, Malik, you're gonna construct this. All right, we have an electric smithy, so we can make weapons now. About time, a pickaxe. 
This basic invention is effective as a web as a weapon while being a tool at the same time. Need some muscle to work with, but make digging through mountains overall more comfortable. Throwing knives. Throwing rocks. That's uh in true cobalt fashion. <laughs> Blowgun, uh, throwing club, Wolverine katana. This like uh jumps like uh <laughs> Wolverine Hex, 80 ingredient, a musket, the ball club, uh, so many weapons. No, weapons made out of wood, could be useful. Let's see the average stats of uh, everyone. So I have uh, Stein, which is good in shooting and melee. Um, Flash is good in melee and shooting as well, but not too much. Uh, Muffet is good in melee. Malik is awesome in melee. Negi is good at shooting and melee as well. Freddy is good at melee. Very good at it. And uh, Global Homo is good at shooting. Okay, so I could make uh, like melee weapons. Uh, let's see now. What type of uh, material do I want to use to make these weapons? Helmets. Hmm. Simple helmets will be useful. Musket, a sword. A ball club, but that's so violent. <laughs> Just guess a spike machine. Short sword of ancient design, good for stabbing and slashing. It's light and it's nimble, which sometimes the light beats bigger, heavier weapon. Oh. Make tropical crab club. This thing is surprisingly heavy. Wait, is, the, is that human bone? Sure. So kobolds are small. They need range. <laughs> Uh, it's not the case for these cobbles, but what should I do? A yeah, spears. A yeah, spear could be cool. Oh, solar fire. Whoops. Sail 28 Celsius outside. Uh, tropical shark. So, a prisoner. Petronas Kozis, uh, a knight in the Exodus Empire, seeks your help. A Petronas royal archaeologist uh, recently extracted two prisoners from an ancient crap to sleep uh, vault uh, and intended to question them. To keep the prisoners secret from court rivals, Petronas wants you to hold them for eight days. Two people for eight days. I don't have uh, any beds though. <laughs> Five honor. Click for more info. Five honor. Uh, I will be at uh, Yeoman instead of Freeholder. Altex vest is uh, a pretty good, excellent quality. Max satisfied title, Count and Countess. It's a middle psychic sensitivity offset. That's uh, good for Nagi actually. Right. Enough set applied to the user of psychic sensitivity. Yes. They're all eat recovery rate, that's good for Nick. And good will for the Exodus Empire. Um it expires in seven days. I have the time to actually build like little prison cells, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna build it here, I think. It's gonna be small, but it's gonna do just fine. Um, I don't want steel beds for for those though. I want uh, furniture, just regular wooden bed, and uh, the same floor, just to match. It's not this one. It's uh, that one. And uh, lights, maybe? Just one singular light. So. Or two, actually. In the best way possible, it's melee. 
Or at least that's the only hmm. I have so much food now. Wow. That uh, stupid solar flare though is has taken down like, everything that I had. Malik is gonna work on it. Uh, Uh, Malik, uh, gather the wood. Is there any like remaining wood that hasn't been cut down? Why is there so many dead creatures around here? Is there like something haunting? Oh, never mind. I found a culprit. And a cougar again. Uh, Malik, how about you go chop some, chop down some trees? Uh, Malik, uh, uh, that's gonna be uh, plant cut. Hey, power is back. That was a short solar flare, <laughs> at least. <clears throat> Global Mo is still uh, sick, right? Even T forty percent though. It's uh, getting there, chat. It's getting there for those who actually predicted that, that Global Mo was gonna survive. <clears throat> it's about uh, twice as far. <laughs> Rip points, non-believer. Imagine being a non-believer. So in three percent sounds good. All right. Thanks. Uh, Fancying food. Like, even if this is like pixelated as fuck and it's a uh, cartoon food, like salivating just at the idea of it. <laughs> That's so bad. But Malik, yeah. <clears throat> so we're getting materials at least for the prisoners. Uh. That's gonna be our first prisoners, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> One thing I could do as well is, uh, since I have a mod, to actually do a prison labor. I'm gonna take my prisoners and actually make them work for me. I might actually uh, close this area here and put like production stuff here. Um, don't know what they're going to do though. Maybe if I put down the quarry here, and I dig this down to a tunnel, it will open and they will actually harvest and everything. Send them to the mines. Yes, that, that's exactly what I'm ta talking about. Uh, you can install quarries, which is uh, like a part of a mod that I installed here. Oh, it's 100 still though, and it's only in the green areas. Oh well, not this area then. Put it down the air, but it's pretty far from the basin. Um, well, there's probably something they, they can do. I, I could probably put the like a uh, a stockpile with the stones, so they can actually work the stone and make like uh, the bricks. Huh? <laughs> Let's close this off. Is there like a chain fence or something like this? Would be cool. Uh, structure. Nah. I, I think you can unlock like a. Um, what's it called? A, uh, a barbed wire. One day though. Uh, since uh, this is uh, wood. Am I making this out of wood? I should probably reinforce this to slate. Slate. 
make a slate door instead. So it's gonna be more resistant. There you go. This is gonna be my very small pres uh, prison for now. There you go. Whoop, everything's uh, prison now. Whoops. Uh, since uh, this door is still not done. All in slate block. Alright, that's uh, all fine and dandy, but I kind of want uh, to finish the wall now. <clears throat> uh, stockpile. This is gonna be uh, clear, uh, clear all parity important. It's gonna be a raw resource. Uh, and what that stone blocks. Nah, that's the well stone blocks is fine. Um raw resource uh, chunks. Stone chunks. There you go. The, this area is gonna have this. I'm gonna put a stone cutter table out here, like two of them. Uh, how should I put this down? Like so, and like so. There you go. And we're gonna um, penalty outdoor. Yeah. Well, uh, if this is closed off, it it will be considered indoor. They'll never see the light of day. They'll never see the light of day. Chat, not anymore. <laughs> It's taking a while to build. Okay, and this was the door, that's why. Search finish machining. Ooh. Uh, machining production. Uh, uh, electric cutter. Where is it? Uh, machining table. Right? Uh, What's the resource needed? 150 steel and 5 components. This should be good. I need to finish the wall here. So this is going to be a uh, door locked, door unlocked. Uh, well. Locked uh, visitor about pet door now. It's gonna be unlocked. This one's gonna be locked. No visitor. Change lock in order to apply something. Alright. After this, uh, it's gonna be. Uh, they, they're going to have access to this. Alright, so this area is full. Can I have wood now? Do I have wood? Where's the wood? Come on, Stein. Bring the wood. Don't refill this. Ah. Come on. Chop it down. Not a sign to plant cutting, obviously. Rata is cutting this down. Colonists need treatment, uh, global one needs a uh, doctor. Alright, so now I can transform this for prisoners and accept the quest. Uh, accept for... Do I accept it? No, I'll accept for the, the vest. <laughs> Prisoner arrived. Where are they? Right in the middle of the courtyard? Alright. Uh, capture and capture. Well, Stein's gonna take care of it. Uh, he's the kind of a warden as well. Porter and Watson are now our prisoners. Uh, All 
right. So we're building the uh, first uh, stone cutter table. I should probably uh, put the lights in here as well, just because they'll have a debuff otherwise. Prisoners are pretty finicky about their needs. I need the uh, steel though. Pretty bad. <laughs> don't have any more steel nearby though that's uh, kind of a pain um da, 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 da. the nearby the steel that is closer to us is uh this is titanium that's not what i want um where is it i've seen it there earlier actually this is plasteel there it is Order, uh, spine, make this shit out. Alright, what are, what are they looking like? Uh, forced to work, yes. And, uh, alright. So they are sedated um, for a while, actually. One sec, uh, what's your treatment? Uh, 69%, nice. Nice, chat, nice. <laughs> um, nice. Whoa, the stats of this, uh, this girl. Oh, this guy, actually, sorry. Sorry. Misgendered you, male age 38 uh, and female age 18. Oh, we have uh, shitty stats. Uh, Tito Taller and Slowpoke. Bloodlust and beautiful. Yes, I can be, be beautiful. Splash bloods everywhere. <laughs> deep, uh, deep Space Miner and a Story Writer. And a Child Spy. Are you sending a spy to my base? <laughs> the spy as a prison. How many days uh, do I have to... Shuttle arrives in almost 8 days. Okay, that's not too bad. Need a research project, yes. Uh, okay, now that I have uh, this thing... Battery... Don't need this anymore. Basic enhancement. Androids. Androids could be cool. Neural chip. Which transform its souls into a biological surrogate. Oh. Man, there's uh, so many stuff to actually uh, research in this game. Especially with mods. <laughs> okay, farming techniques, carpet making. Statue, monument, uh, millennium line furniture, rugs, okay, gunsmithing, machine goes into gunsmithing, all right, uh, gun turrets, yes, oh, I want gunsmithing, that's uh, for sure, and gun turrets, gas operation, oh, automatic rifle, SMGs. Okay, you're going there, I think. <laughs> Gonna make awesome stuff out of this. Uh... Alright. So, where's Malikat? Uh, we digging at the... That's good. At least I, I'll have uh, a bit of steel now. So I can uh, probably create bills uh, for the... Uh... What the fuck are clone bills? Okay. Could make a few... Um... Ball clubs? They, they sound pretty violent. I kind of want this. <laughs> Let's 
spike machine. Good first timing and slashing and slide and yeah, I think I'm gonna make this three of them, please. Out of uh, nope, nope, nope. I have class steel. That's good. How many ingredients? Fifty. All right. Uh, there you go. Plasteel, spike machine. Titanium, uranium, sure. And all crafting skill, it's gonna be minimum of seven. It's gonna be. It's gonna be right. All right. So, flash, uh, you have uh, how many in crafting? Oh, you have six. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna modify this, uh, otherwise, no one's gonna work on this. So, basically, only Flash can work on this. Right? So, our uh, colonists are, well, prisoners are awake. Okay, we have one stone cutter table. Uh, this is gonna be accessed by. Hold on a sec. Do I have. Um, How the heck do I do this again? Is there like a, a prisoner door or something like this? I don't think so. Bills. It's gonna be make any stone blocks forever. Uh, only by prisoners. And I think there's oh Muffalo self-tamed. Nice. That's fucking good actually. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. How arm is is it in here? Um zone labor area. Gonna be at this place. Clear this zone just in case they decide to dig through it. Labor area is an area where only prisoner can work. No colonists work allowed here, except warden type jobs. Okay. So can they? Door is locked. All right. Let's unlock it. There you go. Now they can actually work, and they they won't go outside. Good. Uh, can any of you guys now work? How do I do this again? Forced to work. Uh, recruitment difficulty 13, 100%, resistance 2, slave price uh, 2000, relation gain on release none, prison break interval never. Can any of you guys uh, start working? Alright, you know, screw you guys. <laughs> Alright, where's the muffalo now? Uh, did I have a redeem for a muffalo? It was for a colonist. Uh, next one. Um, muffalo. Muffalo 1 is gonna remain muffalo 1 until we have uh, an animal redeem. Okay. This one is gonna fall eventually when it's uh, trained. At least they eat grass, so they won't actually go inside my uh, pantry. I have rats! No, oh, wait, it's Milo. <laughs> Come on, do something. Oh, at least they have light now. Work and recruit, force work, no direction. Maybe if I reset this. Uh, Muffet is uh, right on time with the treatment uh, 84% versus 44. Received top notch uh, medical treatment. Why is this not working? <laughs> Is it 
door, allow pet door. Yes. So it's not locked, so it should be fine. Maybe if I... Not a mad squirrel. It's your turn, Stein. Your time to shine. Take care of the mad hunting squirrel. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see the red dot on the map. Well, then, if we follow Stein, it's gonna take care of it, right? Right, Stein? We're gonna do this, right? Is that it? Wild creature? No, it's not this one. Maybe it's already dead. Oh, there it is. No, but it's coming for for the colony. Oh, there's a bear just next to it. Biscuit, what are you doing, Biscuit? Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> can you attack, Biscuit? I think you can, actually. Alright, well. Time for some hunting. Why are you running away now? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's trying to run away. Go, Luna, yeah! Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> a warg is uh, very freaking dangerous for any any colonist or anything like this, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I have a warg with me. Especially when you augment them and put uh, like steel jaws on them. You can basically do that if you want. That's RimWorld. You can modify pretty much everything once you're getting into bionics. <laughs> and I have mods to actually... Um, Increased bionics on the uh, animals and in colonists. We have the technology. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do we have uh, any weapon now in the making or anything like this? Nope. Flash, what are you doing? Allowing steel to electric smelter. Alright, I guess that's uh, that's fine. Once everyone has a weapon, I'm going to try to actually breach into that. I doubt that uh, I'll be able with the current weapons that I have. It's uh, pretty dangerous. I don't like the bear though. Uh, bear is uh, getting hungry. Shit. Stein, your time. Time to kill a bear. Kobold versus bear. Is it a grizzly bear? Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. <laughs> Come on, don't mess this up. I'll say first, because... Uh, my turn ugly. Alright, your time to shine. Go! Oh, got it. It's a grizzly bear with asthma! <laughs> Get it! Holy shit, you're getting pretty good at shooting. Throwing away. I want a sniper rifle for uh, Stein, though. No? Nice. Oh, he's gonna attack uh, Muffet, right? He's fleeing. There you go. Cobalt versus wild. <laughs> Alright. Machine table. Nice. Gun time. Don't miss it. Didn't miss a single shot yet, that's true. Should have a uh, Gamba on that. <laughs> Speaking of Gamba. 93%. Once he actually get the immunity, I'm gonna give the points away. Porter Robinson and Watson. Why are you not working? <laughs> That's what I want I'm wondering right now. Expand labor area. You guys should be able to work on this. You need a warden? No, I don't think I need a warden actually. If I take Nagi, for example, I remember like the um, 
they used to actually work in my other game without the word that around. Peach is going inside, just like nobody's business. There you go. They have like the, this blue, like, uh, thing on top of them. They don't do, don't do shit. Uh, Sorry, right. they're leaving in eight days. I'll uh, I'll check if I can uh, f figure it out uh, outside of the stream. Because one day I kind of want a big ass prison with like so many prisoners <laughs> that uh, I can actually uh, do everything, and my kobolds can finally rest. <laughs> Muffet is trying to. Uh, Muffet came near Luna while talking to herself about the history. Well, now it's not an existential crisis. Sat in near Luna and talked to herself about the government. Never mind. <laughs> poor, poor dogs. They're like, no, don't. I, I'm a dog. I don't need to know about these. <laughs> I'm dog. What are they doing? They can't slate them. Okay. All right. So uh, we actually made a lot of progress. Let's see what's available on the machine table. Um. Oh, shred mechanoid. I I could actually do this because I have a mechanoid. I think. Yeah. Missing body part, 0.5%. He's uh, completely rusted, but I think I can scavenge it. Okay. Can make Molotov cocktails, frag grenades. Nice. Search through the multitude of miscellaneous parts for a rare computer component. Ooh, you can spend 10 components to actually get the advanced component. That's interesting. Is this a mod or...? Wolverine shotgun, Ferex Vector, make Ferex F19, make Wall Track PPK. Nice, nice. Technical Cobalt incoming. Uh, smelt metal from slag, you forever. I don't have as much slags anyway. Alright, so. Uh, with this chat, we're approaching uh, uh, the three hour marks. I am starving. <laughs> uh, I'll get the dinner right after this. So I'm gonna save. And we'll see each other real soon because I really have to work on the. Um, on my kobold because uh, it's due by uh, the 26th <laughs> shit all right this is uh, coming a bit too cutting it uh, a bit too close but i uh, i need to finish it i still haven't worked on it uh, ever since last time wasn't feeling like it to be honest and uh yeah i have to do it but it's fine i have less than three days worth at least and it's gonna be motivation to actually make a heart stream um Starting uh, tomorrow, I think. I'll post it on, on the Discord. If you guys are not on the Discord, uh, this is the link to access the Discord for Lena and I. Uh, so with this, I'll say, uh, just uh, give me a second. There you go. So with this chat, uh, we're gonna raid the. Uh, uh, would the poll continue on for tomorrow? Actually, I'm gonna give it to you because there is almost uh, no chance that uh, <laughs> I forgot about the outcome, but yeah, choose outcome. It's going to survive malaria. Yes, it was at 95% and was actually treated, so sorry about your point, chat. <laughs> yes. And with this chat, 
uh, stay up for the raid. We're gonna raid someone from Wild Abandon, so why not? Because uh, of uh, the, the why I actually applied today, so I can actually uh, uh, put you to their stream. Hold on a second, doing five time uh, five things at the same time. It's kind of hard to focus on everything. Wild event. There you go. Uh, let's see who's online. Okay, let's go with uh, Wild Nefari, who's playing Death Stranding, will not it? So, we're gonna read uh, uh, Wild Nefari. And with this, uh, you can use uh, starting from the slash me uh, the message in chat uh, on uh, their channel. So this, uh, I'll see you next time. Chat uh, was a good stream. So thank you for coming by. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits uh, and uh, the follows as well. I appreciate it. It's the, thanks to you that this uh, channel is growing uh, as it is. So I'll see you. Next time, chat. Take care. Bye. Bye.